In terms of why barnacles are important, um, these barnacles actually these barnacles actually encrust the bottom of ships and other kind of equipment that is often submerged in the ocean for a very long period of time. Um, they're known as fouling organisms, which um, affect us all economically because uh, if they attach themselves to the bottom of uh, boats and ships, um, it will cause what we call um, resistance um, in the form of drag. So it means that any ships that are bringing uh, goods to me and you, um, which which is all important. We want our, our you know our uh, televisions, um, even our food that is transported from abroad. Um, if these ships have have this kind of drag because of the barnacles causing that kind of fouling and grouping and living on the bottom of the ships. Uh, that means that there's a greater cost in the um, shipping companies bringing the food to me and you. Um, it will cost more in terms of um, fuel because the ship has a greater weight at the bottom of it to pull through the water. And the other thing, um, what causes a bit of a problem in terms of um, species invasion in our waters is that these encrusting barnacles um, when they live on the bottom of the ships and so forth, actually they are transporting themselves from perhaps their original waters and habitats into, um, into new waters and becoming invasive species. And that's the kind of thing that scientists like myself and others will monitor um, species travelling from different parts of the world in the oceans. And it's important to do that because one... Um, you're transferring different species across the world and anything that's invasive not native to a particular country could cause a problem to the native so the, the species that actually um, originally is from a particular ocean invasive species could cause a problem and make native species um, be at risk or die out so that's the kind of work and Darwin's barnacles are important in that continuing that kind of research because scientists often refer back to these original specimens for classification, often identifying newly collected species from particular waters.